I was doing my thing. Doing my thing. Welcome back, and it's good to be back. Thank you, Sticker Brothers. We've got a donation of Elvin, man. Elvin, Elvin. <gasps> Isn't that the name of um? What's he called in Lord of the Rings? Agent Smith. Agent Smith in Lord of the oh, Rings. That's Elrond. Don't worry. Elrond. Thanks, Thanks enough, mate. Awesome fucking, name. Looking appreciate you after this week. I tell you. Oh, so good to see so many. I'm looking forward to doing a Q and A and actually chatting to you guys because I haven't spoken to you so fucking long. Seriously. Well, what's up? Did you see the Warcraft trailer? No. Can we bring it up? I think we should play it. What? <laughs> You're going to be doing that now, aren't you? You're going to be doing that uh, all the time. What? Uh, <laughs> what Ricky did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Warcraft 3 trailer. Uh, not 5.4. 5.4 trailer uh, was released this week. There it is. Are we going to watch it? Yeah, let's put it on. I think we should play it. So if we can capture it and... I will do. Just if you just bear with me, bloody hell! Let's turn it way down. I'm gonna have to bring it over here, turn it down the snuffles. Now I think it was desktop, wasn't sure. it? No, it was not. Just add it now from there. Add. What? <laughs> and bring it big. Okay. You give so. that up big time. No, I haven't. You ready? Sure. to the pools. Enough! You have run rampant for far too long, Hell Scream. But that stops now. <laughs> Step aside, Pandaren. You confront a force beyond reckoning. Your father dabbled in powers beyond reckoning. Where is he now? <laughs> Fortress, they will face all the terrible creatures I have wrought. The boundless power I have mastered. And one by one, they will fall at my feet. Anyone who would rise against my new horde will be impaled upon the spires of Orgrimmar. Tried to bury your hate and your anger, but such power cannot be contained. It must be unleashed! <laughs> A time will come when you will answer for your crimes. I answer. To no one! All who challenge me will 
burn in the fires of my hatred. What do you think? What's your first impression? Good cutscene. Isn't it? The only, the only, you know what my beef is with that? You know what my beef is? That did showing the, the Shah sort of stage. No, that did more for the story and for Garage Hellstream than the entire expansion has done in a fucking year. That cutscene did so much that needed to be done ages ago. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why? Why? It's so good. Garrosh is now, the, everyone's like, ooh, Garrosh is such a badass. We knew we were going to fight him. Make him a badass fucking months ago. Why? Why did oh, yeah. you, for the you general mean. audience who don't follow who Garrosh is, that fucking cutscene did so much for his character. I, is it? I mean, because I'm obviously completely out of the loop now. So, I see George Ogrimmar, and in that cutscene, it did show, like, the Alliance and Horde ships coming to Pandaria. Though. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's World of War, baby. Has it actually said any sort of alliance between them in the storyline? No, I'm not going to spoil it, but we've got the new Warchief coming, and there's been, like, armies gathering No, it didn't spoil it. If he's out there, it's out there. Has there, has there, has there, have they actually talked about an alliance to take down Garrosh at any point of the storyline? Yes. Definitely? Yes. Right, okay. That was it. I just thought, like, they're just bound together, like, okay, I, like, Alliance ships are coming in, the Horde ships are coming, it's like, and they're just, yeah. they give each other, like, a silent nod it's, sort of thing. It's not like a, um, uh, I'll give you a reach around if you let me fuck you, but, the, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna team up. But it's just that, I watched that cutscene, and I was like, that is so yeah. good. Give us that ages ago where people were like, oh, the last boss is, because people were pissed. Some people won't be, who are into the war, it's like, oh, we're gonna fight Garrosh, that's really cool. If you're into the war, you won't be feeling that. But for a lot of people who aren't into the lore, they didn't give a shit. It's like the last boss. Compare it to uh, simply compare it to the Lich King. You know what I mean? Compare it to the Lich King. Oh, we needed that so long ago, but it looks good, right? It's a fucking mint cutscene. It, it makes it was you, a very it good cutscene. That is something that has not deteriorated for me about World of Warcraft. Is their cutscenes? Like oh, Blizzard that. in general. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw the StarCraft Two Heart of Swarm. I'll show it you later because it is. Immense. Really? I, I think. Uh, do we, are we agreed on this? The StarCraft Two Heart of the Swarm cinematic or trailer is just the best gaming cutscene I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. It's so fucking good. It really is. Blizzard blows everybody else out of the water. But fucking hell, that cutscene is amazing. Have they actually announced the new War Chief? No, they're going to release it either just before the expansion or next expansion. Okay. Uh, so we can pretty much see that. Yeah. Uh, where, it, where it shows the fucking yeah you'll people who know it will have seen it the Heart of the Swarm trailer is retarded it must have sp cost millions <laughs> you know I can, I mean it's it's just so expensive to make and you need so much talent to create the detail in that costume I'm not going to pick it up too much I'll show you later okay. uh, and see what you make of it the first time if you're somebody who doesn't know shit about Starcraft 2 I assume you don't uh, I don't think you've played I don't know anything it. about yeah, Starcraft so I assume just watching it you'll just be like it's so much better and this kind of leads me to the next topic. Do you know what I can totally relate to? Is what you've just said there with the Twist of Fate trail, um, cinematic for League of Legends. Yeah, because exactly that is a really good cutscene. I, could appreciate, I didn't understand and, the yeah. characters, but you were like, this is exactly A lot what of insight characters. about the characters and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. Really good so stuff I know what you like mean. That. I mean, I, the, the Witcher 3 trailer has just come out, which is one of the first trailers that people are openly saying we can't tell the difference between real life and the game. Can we briefly touch on the Witcher? Uh, sure, go ahead. Right, I'm going to make this really short and really quick. I put... 15 hours into that game, the first game, The Witcher. Never played a title of it before. Everyone said it's an amazing game. The story is good. It's a bit dated, but just take that into consideration when you're playing it. Love the combat. Love the RPG aspects. Here we go. The two big things about this is, okay, it's open world, but it's very on rails. If it's that linear, makes sense. Sure. It's linear as shit. The questing system is bullshit. I've never played a game where the questing, I just look at it and I'm just like... <laughs> total spaz yeah. face total spaz face so like face. I was thinking about it last night and I was thinking like all these games that I've played through like I played through The Darkness I started to play Mark of the Ninja again like because I've got my pad and all these games I'm thinking I love this so I went straight to The Witcher and deleted it and then I asked on the stream um, last night sorry was it last night no the night before and said is The Witcher 2 questing any better everyone didn't mince the words no 
Oh really? I just saw the exact Fuck opposite. The witch no. play The Witcher Two. No, everyone last night, everyone on Thursday night said the questing in The Witcher Two is exactly the same. So I uninstalled it. I'm not even going to entertain it. I'm done with it. Man. Oh, fair enough. Done I'm not going to touch it at all. I'm staying well away. Go for it. Uh, but I was going to say, I had that weird experience. I made that video this week, Old to Warcraft Three. It was something that was really playing on my mind when I was sat like by Emma's bedside. Because obviously you're there for like seven hours of time, and your mind just drift after a bit while she's asleep and stuff. I totally regret playing that game, and I had not felt that way about going back and playing a game from a series I love and being like, I shouldn't have done that. And it's Why? Because it made me realise how much more I would have enjoyed WoW. Oh, and yeah. And that is horrible feeling. Is this game is really good, and the more I played it, the, the Warcraft 3 still stands the test of time easily. It's so fucking good. And I, I playing it, I was just like, bastard. Bastard, you know bastard, what, though, bastard. I can appreciate that, but I'm on the other end of the rainbow with that. Because when I was watching you stream that, it was a part in, when I was in work and it was very quiet, so I had the stream open a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just not watching the video necessarily because I couldn't at all times, but just hearing about the characters, hearing the noises that their abilities make, you know, that instant snap to mm -hmm. it. Like, uh, I think it was the Paladin's Auras, it was um, Tranquility on a Druid and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. And the, the whole story, like the Lich King things, where he plays Arthur, so you go find yep. Frostmourne, um, and then you go to like the Outland and stuff like that. I loved it. And just getting that perspective that this already happened a long time ago. So I know I'm a bit gutted that I'm not on the flip side, where I could have done it first. Oh, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's, yeah. That is I'm totally gutted about that, but totally I'm so glad. 100%. I love the fact where you can, you know, where you can put the relation to. Oh, that's you know, the same in World of Warcraft. It's because I've not had that feeling in ages. I, I often like if I catch up with the franchise, like I've been catching up with games. Is I like to start from the beginning. So although we've got like Gears of War one to three on the shelf, I start at one, and I can appreciate I, that's it's like it's an older game. I want to start at one. Exactly. And I want to go back, and I generally don't regret doing that. I think I, in the recent ones, I played Dead Space two before one. Uh, because I was like, oh, I'll try this game out. I have it, and then I was like, God, playing one made two better. And I didn't regret it. I didn't have the same feeling. It's like, oh, that kind of makes more sense. That kind of works. With Warcraft 3, it's like, the more I played it, I was like, I can only glimpse what it must have been like for somebody who... Cause it was about year 2000 it came out, I think. Or Which 2002, one? Uh, Warcraft 3. I can't remember what me and you would have been playing then. Uh, in that was year? That, was that GoldenEye era? 2000. No, that was wait, GoldenEye was. Uh, I can't. I don't know. What no, we're... actually, no. It, we, we we were still playing GoldenEye. It was the first two years of college. We would have been playing No Mercy. No Mercy. So we would have been, uh, and we're still in Nintendo 64 yes. territory. Yes. And so we just passed us by. We weren't really PC games at the time because all your friends at school had consoles, right? Yeah. So we were just doing that kind of stuff, and then that, obviously I got back into PC gaming and carried on playing this. And with any MMO, I played lots of other fucking different MMOs. It was all about. Um, the mechanics for me every single time when I picked up an MMO I was like oh the gameplay is pretty good I didn't care about the world mm. at all Warcraft I had the same thing that's why I picked up Warcraft I was like the net code was really good uh, nerdy things I know and I never ever will appreciate what it must have been like and I totally regret it and that's why Warcraft 3 really brought this home is what it must have been like for someone who was in the Warcraft 3 era played a lot of Warcraft 3 and a lot of Dota and whatever and then got to go into World of Warcraft and just going, oh my god. Yeah. This is exactly what I hoped it would be. And you go into Warsong Lumberville, which is a major part of Warcraft 3. And it looks like it does in, in that game. And Stone Town Peaks has pinnacle points. And the, the, just the layout of the land is exactly what it... And you're just looking at the buildings. Like I said, it's been 10 fucking years. And they haven't changed... The buildings. And that's not because they couldn't. It's fucking Blizzard. It's because it means something somewhere else. And that Heritage, barracks... Heritage, mate. And some people post on the videos like, I've only just realised that the barracks in Warcraft 3 is that fucking military building that I see in every goddamn map in World of Warcraft. And I know the inside layout of it. You can tell me the fucking... The, the basement's downstairs and there's a jail cell or an open room and then you go upstairs and you go around the fucking corner and you can, I can do it blindfolded. And I was looking at the building and I was like, that's that fucking building! And I used to go... Why do you keep using this fucking building asset all the time? Why is it always the same fucking building? It pisses me off. No end. And then I go back and I go, oh, it's because it means more than I can appreciate. And now I'm a giant douchebag. Okay, GG. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It means so that's much summary. fucking more. I'm a, just a giant swat. Oh, well, oh, that's why. Okay, that's why you've not changed it is because it's actually something you're really proud of. And it harkens back to a world that I knew nothing about. 
fair play, fuck you, Blizzard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I just had these douchey fucking thoughts. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, man. And then just even how silly things are. Like, I always... I thought, for the longest time, Warsong Lumber Mill is just a thing that P- Blizzard made up. Yeah. Because they wanted to add a BG called Warsong Gulch. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, we're bringing in Warsong Lumber Mill. I remember at the time thinking, oh, Warsong, I kind of get it. Yeah, it's a BG thing. Oh, no, no, lol, lol, Warsong fucking Lumber Mill is actually a massive part of the game, you dick. And you should have known it's coming. And then to look at Warcraft 3, 2002, the level 90 talents that we they didn't even bother with till Stop now, up. till 2013. Avatar's in there. And you're like, these spells have been around for a decade. And I'm like... Oh, what are the new spells and how do they mechanically work? It's like, oh, Avatar's coming in. What does it do? It means nothing to me at the time. You know what I mean? I read it. I'm like, oh, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, oh, it's called Avatar. It's kind of a cool name, I guess. Uh, what does it do? It gives random damage. Okay. No, no, no. That's fucking something that Murden Bronzebeard was ha- Casmo derping about for fucking 10 years ago. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and then that whole feeling is I had hundreds of people in the stream going, what does Avatar look like? I should have known. Because it's exactly the fucking same as in Warcraft 3. So harken back to that. And they liked that spell back then. And they waited a decade before they even brought it into World of Warcraft. That's cool. It's cool, but uh, I can only... Uh, I just wish I'd played it first, man. Because I would have just loved World of Warcraft on so many more levels. And there are people, and probably in the stream right now, who did appreciate it in that way. And were just like, wow, 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 wow. Every time they moved somewhere, it was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, oh yeah, nice net code. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like a total fucking spaz derp. Yeah. Oh, I can stealth actually behind people and it works. Because we came from Neocron where it was like people floating in the sky. Yeah, I owned you in that duel. <laughs> Not that you can realise that in fact the game bugged out and you were just floating still somewhere. So I just shot you without having to do anything. Uh, no, that didn't actually fucking work. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But it did make me think that, because I've been really critical of some of the decisions made over Mr. Pandaria. And praised, which I think is fair. If you love a game, you, you care about what you don't like and what you do like. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, but I've always been, I've recently became very worried that they were going to sort of tailor the game in a way that I was like, it's not really what the game was built on. I don't think that anymore. Because they give a shit about what the, that world is. You know what I mean? They fucking care. They have pride in it. They are invested in it. And then you know there was a meeting where some smarmy ass fucking little dev, probably called Brad come in with his little fucking goggles on and went, should we update the assets of the buildings? And the fucking probably Metzen came in and slapped that son bitch right upside his face and went, no, get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. know what that means. I mean, when you make a game, it's like bigger, better. It's got to be bigger and better. And I was trying to space because you got, Dead, you got the humble bundle from Origin. We need to talk about that in a bit as well. Sure. And you got Dead Space 3 in there. And I was like, yeah, Dead Space 3 is fine, but they fell victim. Blame EA all you want, but to the... DLC microtransaction policy that is current gaming and it detracted from the world. It made it worse because that's the era of the gaming whereas Blizzard haven't done that really. Mm. And the in-game store's coming now. Maybe it'll go that way. Do you think before I start because I'm going to start Dead Space 1 tonight. Oh, God. I'm sort of scared but still. Um, it's so good. Is it worth playing it on a pad? No. Really? It's an FPS. Is it? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, don't play a pet an FPS with a pad. That's, Come, that's okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Dead, I'm, I'm really looking forward to what you think. Um, Dead Space 1 and 2 are easily the best. I'm, re- I'm going to play through Bioshock 1 again re- uh, soon. I need some footage for it. I need I'm some footage shit from it. i myself on Dead Space, I think. It's, um, yeah. <sighs> I don't like scary things. Scary things scare the ghost. What? Straight up, scary things scare the ghost. Mm. Scary things do scare the ghost. Scary things do scare the ghost. Uh, but because I didn't play games, I actually watched back and just want to talk briefly about a couple of movies I played. Before. You could talk you briefly it. about a couple yeah, of movies. Yeah, uh, like some films. I caught up on my movies, really, because I didn't want to play games. It was weird. I was like so exhausted from sitting it's still. It's nice, though, isn't it, though, to just. Yeah, I came in and I was looking and, like, surrounded by games. And I was like, there is every genre of game in the world in this room. None of them appeal to me right now. I'm going to sit on my couch and I just cracked a movie on to ignore. So, a lot of Demolition Man. It's just the best, Demolition the best Man film ever to ignore. Is the best film. You could. It doesn't <laughs> matter at what point you turn Demolition Man on. It doesn't matter what you're doing in the side. Demolition Man is the ultimate film to just put on and ignore, like you said. Yeah, it's just a film to ignore. But I got invested in a couple of movies, like uh, Rise of Planet of the Apes. And I don't think Never neither of it. us went to see it because it was no. like eh. Planet of the Apes, not for me. And it's James Franco. I'm not a big fan of James Franco. Really good movie. Like him. Really good movie. And also a film called Daybreakers. Have you seen this? I hated it. Did you? I yes. actually thought it was okay. But the entire idea of the story, the just you knew wouldn't work. No. 
the procedure of how they oh, turn yeah, vampires to a human <laughs> is fucking hilarious. Although watching Ethan Hawke burn constantly, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's, it was an interesting idea that you could think of, oh, I mean, if you're not saying it's not a spoiler, the yeah. Uh, the vampires are the vast majority and humans are in the minority, but they need blood. So it's kind of an idea that you would toss around, like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, the, the, most people were vampires and, like, humans were on the run? And then you go, yeah, but they run out of blood really easily. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a bit of a shit idea. But nobody got to that second stage of the plan, and so they went, oh, let's make a movie about it. And then it's like, ah, you got a good idea, but it falls down so easily. It's like your whole thing's built on plasticine. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. But I kind of, I was okay with it. I was all right. For a movie to ignore, that was kind of fine. But I watched This Is The End, which is the, um... The new comedy. The comedy of Seth Rogen. And everyone's raving about it. Mmm. Mmm. I, I'm, I still want to I say you should that, watch but... it and maybe you'll have a different opinion. Maybe I watched it in a bad mood, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe I wasn't into it, but... Yeah. It just seems like there's a lot of films going around with comedians right now where they're just trying to make money with their friends. And it doesn't feel like a movie. Like, Grown Ups, I get that idea, where it's just a group of guys who are like, well, we're going to sell tickets because it's us. So let's just goof around and... Sort of like the Expendables of the action genre. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, if the last movie that did it successfully for me was Step Brothers, because Step Brothers oh, is just Step them Brothers. two goofing around, but it was a movie. Yeah. It was a movie that made sense, and it actually had a story behind it. Did you hear about all the stuff with uh, Bruce Willis in The Expendables? Yeah, a million dollars a day. Who and the fuck candy. are you? Yeah. And look, candy. Stallone giving you the fucking... You are there anyway. He's Stallone giving Stallone. him a five-finger sandwich. Yeah. Stallone stood his ground, fucked him off, then put it straight on Twitter. Some people are so fucking lazy and greedy. He put something yeah. like that after he canned Willis. That is such a... Cunt move, isn't it? A million dollars what, a day. You've got to wonder it's not that. In I mean, the it's from, early our, 90s from our perspective. You're not making diehards anymore. Well, this is what I mean. From, from our perspective, that is just like outrageous. But in Bruce Willis's situation, whatever it might be, which we can never appreciate, he's in a world where he feels like for him to be on film is a million dollars a day. If you want me to fly out to Croatia or wherever it was, it was somewhere somewhere in the east, um, in Central Europe, I think. That's what he feels he's worth to be there. I mean, can you imagine what world you live in? I mean, just take away the, the, our impressions, which is you're a fucking piece of shit. Basically, nobody deserves that kind of money for no. whatever they do. Uh, where he's like, no, if I, you know, a million dollars a day. and Because they offered him three million for four days. He wasn't far off. It was three million for four days is that he was offered. And he said, no, I want four million if you want me for four days. I want a million dollars a day. It's like that's perfectly legitimate to the point where he argued over it because they obviously had a bit of an argument How did first. How because he did um, a bloody was it BT advert or something like that a couple yeah, of months no, ago? Sky, he just Sky a, advert. He just a Sky advert. So they go from doing a Sky advert to then demanding a million dollars a day. I don't know what is that. It's a huge ego, but he he must have felt like that's that's right. His contract people must have been like, this is what I'm. I mean, he wasn't even far off. He was on three million for four days. Do you know what I mean? What world is that, and why can't I be in it? <laughs> I'm going to be a pad. I'm gonna, uh, if you want me to come down, it's going to be a million dollars. Do you know the only thing that I'm going to miss about him not being in it anymore is the... Um, I don't know, the Expendables are terrible the fucking movies. I know, the, in the, the twat. <laughs> in the twat, yeah, in the chat. Um, is the back and forth that yeah. I had with Arnie. Yeah. You know, like the whole they rip each other with like with like tr trademark sort of quotes where like they're, they're under fire and Arnie says, wait here, I'll be back. And Bruce Willis says, fuck that, you've been back enough times, I'll be back. You know, that sort of... Yeah, like, it's designed to be cheesy, but, but you would figure that. those guys were just having fun. Exactly, exactly. Be, that's you the come point. into the end of your career, there's, you're not going to be able to do this much longer. Just fucking Did enjoy it. Did you see it. Live Free or Die Hard? Live free or the die. new Die Hard. No, oh, you, do, you stay it. there. You stay there. You dodged yeah, it. You did a Neo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Good. No. I've seen it. No thanks. Wow. I watched really? it all the way through. I almost didn't notice that I'd covered but it with mean, a game. They need to stop doing it now. Like um, he's obviously a dad to that guy, but they're still making the action man and stuff like that. But look at it like this on the other end of the spectrum. I know they're reviving it, which is a godsend. But twenty four, season eight of twenty four starts off. Jack Bauer is a granddad. They make note of him being a granddad. He's getting old now. He's not this fucking lively spring chicken that he used to be. And they they focus on his limitations and things like that. Like Batman as like well. Ba I was just like say, Batman, yeah, like he's Batman. getting older. They appreciate that. Bruce Willis, you are not 21 anymore. You're not wearing a vest and ripped grey pants with no shoes on. I just saw in the chat, it's like, maybe he doesn't want to act anymore. Maybe he doesn't give a shit. But he's got the power to not act anymore. Well, that's the point. And maybe that's what he was flexing. Is like, 
Oh, maybe you don't know. We don't know the situation. Obviously, we only hear what Stallone said. Yeah. Well, perhaps they were like, "Oh, we're making Expendables three. What can I?" He's like, "Nah, I don't really want to do it." And he's like, um, "Well, come on, Bruce, you're coming." He's like, "I'm just not asked anymore. I don't really give a fuck. I've made two shit movies for the last five years. I don't care." And I think his last good movie, I want to say, Sin City. He was brilliant. Bruce Sin Willis. City. Yeah, Sin City was fucking awesome. As uh, the cop, he was about sixty years old. Yeah, Hartigan. And maybe he's, he was just, no, nah, all right, call it four mil and I'll come down, maybe. You know, that kind of attitude, very blase. Red, actually, someone, uh, Ali mentioned red. I like red. Luca! I like the film Luca. red. I didn't particularly like him. Oh, he's, he was also in G.I. Joe Retaliation. Let's not forget that. As the G.I. Joe. As the G.I. As Joe. As Joe. As Joe. He was, as Joe. Joe. Yeah, he he was Joe. Joe. Uh, yeah, he's still making more diehards. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. I can't imagine what it's like to be in that world. That's a fun world to be. Let it go. Do what they do with James Bond. What? Replacing. 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 Every generation of James Bond. You know why? It's I so bring popular? in John Malkovich. In fact, even though it is still one of my favourite Bonds, I will admit that Roger Moore in View to a Kill, which was his last one, he was old as balls in that film. But then they replaced him straight up. James Bond. The format of that is is people look forward to who's the next Bond. Perhaps if they would have capitalised that on like who's going to be the next John McClane. Fair enough, Batman. Batman. Mm. Who's do you think John? Do you think Di- I don't think Die Hard's got Die Hard. No, Die Hard's gone too far now. Yeah. Die Hard's gone too far. Three was really good though. To be honest, I enjoyed three. Yeah, John. I thought that was fucking really good. We need new proper action heroes. Who are the new action heroes? You name one. Who was the guy who was in Terminator Salvation? He fucking sucked. Oh, Sam Worthington. Channing Tatum is he one supposed to be? Channing Tatum's better in comedy, like James Franco. Well, what am I saying? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, without question. Tom Hardy. Suck my dick. Bale. But how old's Bale now? Bale's mid forties, now, I think. Okay, so Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, definitely, without question. Well, I can't think of any more. You, you don't need to mention The Rock. You think he's got? The, you think he's legitimate enough? Yes. He did pain Very and game. Very much so. Pain and game. We've still not seen that though. It's supposed to be terrible. Bad? Yeah. But the thing is, look at this. Did you enjoy the Love Guru? Uh, yeah. It got like uh, a global twenty percent <laughs> vote in and voted the worst <laughs> film of the year. We loved I actually, it. yeah, we actually had a fun fun night of that. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's smuggling a snow. Statham? There. Jason Statham. Uh, he's rocking on a bit now as well, but I, mm. I agree with you. I like Statham. I like Statham Definitely in uh, like the... Um, Transporters. No, not in the transport. I thought it was terrible. What? Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, Crank. I Crank was, was good. He was Crank. minting Crank death race as well. Penny Gain's quite funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, I kind of think so. I kind of think so. All oh, right, Liam Neeson. Nobody's older than Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Chris Neeson's Pine good. ain't going to make oh, it. Oh, dude. What about... Um, what's that? See where I did that then. We gotta think the the Avengers lineup apart from Danny Jr. Ah, uh, you see, I have a, a thing about that. Did you see that um, on that Avengers for Thor: The Dark World? Is he Chris Hemsworth? I think you already mentioned him. He's plays Thor. Yeah. Um, he's just dominated by the guy who plays Loki, isn't he? That's to the point where they uh, people minutes, are complaining so. now because the guy who plays Loki, they've had to bring him back in to film a load more stuff, like loads of extra scenes because. He's just so much better than Chris Hemsworth. You got, that happens everywhere in every format, though, of, of media. Look at it like this. I mean, I know it's completely worlds apart from Thor, but um, Ricky Gervais, mm-hmm. on his podcast, they started with a podcast of Ricky Gervais, what's the guy who looks like a goose called? Steve Merchant. Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. He looks like a goose, and I got it as well. <laughs> Carl Pilkington was there as the novelty aspect of that show, yep. originally. As soon as they focused on how good Carl is for that show, look at the franchise and how that's done it. Yeah, he's a millionaire now. He's, yeah, basically, Carl Pilkington was supposed to be novelty on a podcast of Ricky Gervais's podcast. He then, by the halfway through the first season, dominated the podcast. After the podcasts, he then returned for all the Christmas specials of the Ricky Gervais shows. He was in extras. Then they've got programs about him now and stuff like that. It's the dominance and it's utilising what people want. Yeah, I just think... Um, oh, look, my, my point was I don't think Chris Hemsworth is the... As the an actual main think he can, standard. An yeah, A-list. I don't think so. I think he needs to be no. propped by a good actor. There is, you got to look at this. That generation now, I don't even think, apart from, you know, Tom Hardy, there is no one that can replace Sylvester Stallone... Van Damme, Arnie, that sort of generation of people. I think Van Damme's easily replaceable. I don't know. I can't think of a good Van Damme film. Oh, uh, Universal Soldier. Where he was a good actor as well. To be a great action hero, <laughs> you have to be able to act as well, right? I thought he was if good If you've got Universal the Van Damme Soldier. acting as a robot, 
You'll do all right. <laughs> oh, Van Damme is great in Universal Soldier. What, what you mean he's like a reanimated corpse? Yeah, okay, he did really well in that movie. I'm just saying he's okay. But even Arnie's putting some brilliant performances, and uh, Stallone has. In fact, Rocky Balboa, the latest Rocky film, is a awesome fucking film. awesome movie. Awesome film. Do you know what I had to and dodge? And even Rambo. That? Rambo's to, brilliant. Rambo is my the only the only remake because like um, you probably you know apologies if you have, but you probably you will have as well. Hollywood go through phases of copying each other. Mm. Now, that phase was remakes. They did it with Rocky and Rambo, and it was the same people. And they did it with Indiana Jones. Oh. And they did it with loads, loads of people. Basically, as soon the as one company, the reboots, yeah, as soon as one company was like, we're going to do this, everyone's like, this is the thing. They did it with Lord of the Rings at the time when that came out, like Dungeons and Dragons came out, and loads more came out, like of the whole middle Percy Earth. Jackson represents. Percy fucking Jackson. I look forward to it. Have you seen the first Percy Jackson? It's all right. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I did. I'm looking forward to the next one. But it seems to be like the whole everything. Hollywood follows trends. Look at the end of the world thing. Yeah. How many films? Oh, are just Deep Impact and Armageddon. Woo! Hey, what? Deep Impact and Armageddon. Exactly. In, in like a month of each exactly. other. Exactly. So exactly. Far. Hey, but both them films, cool as shit. But oh, what? Armageddon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, thank God, I read that wrong. I what? thought they said someone said they're remaking Commando. No, oh, no, it's not, do it, no. Whoa, that is my favourite Arnie film. Well, Terminator 2, but that goes without saying. Commando is the Arnie film. If you haven't seen Commando... It's the Arnie film. Go and That's watch like it. saying Cobra is the Stallone movie. No, seen... it isn't. <laughs> Cobra is so good. Have you seen this? Like... The toothpick, mate. <laughs> Every time it comes on my uh, vision box, every now and again, Cobra, I just look at the cover that they made for that video, and I'm just like, "What the fuck?" Man? Look at that pistol. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's yeah. so fucking good. But um, um, I lost my train of thought now. I got so excited. Right. You're talking about reboots. Fuck reboots is my general thesis of it. Apart from Batman and James. Well, Bond. they don't always go well. Let's look at the Lone Ranger. Oh, yep. do you know what's funny? And I do it every film as well. Okay, we're going to get a film in, right? Okay, Johnny Depp's going to be in this film. Okay, now we need a strong female actress <laughs> to star alongside Johnny Depp. And he got the piss taken out of it in Ricky Gervais. I wasn't leading on to that, but I am now. We need a strong female actress to star alongside Johnny Depp. Helena Bonham Carter, maybe. <laughs> yeah. In every film! I hate her. She's so ugly. Well, she's married to the director, so what are you going to do? Uh, but I don't know, man. Helena. I actually like her. I thought she did really well. She in Harry Potter, she was a great character. She was in Harry Potter. Do you know what, though? Do you want to make... Every film that she was in, better just for its sex appeal and as well as its sex appeal, its sex appeal, Olivia Wilde. Oh! Olivia Wilde, no, we no, sleep. Can we just go back to the whole Oculus Rift thing? <laughs> <laughs> it goes full circle. If you had 4D custom porn, and but you could mod it. You could mod it, you know, we're in the future now, and you could basically... I can see with, like, a JPEG over the porn star yeah, and Olivia Wilde. Yeah, Olivia really Wilde, low -res you JPEG. are banging the life for Jesus out of Olivia Wilde. Which person is not going to do that? No one. I, oh, do you know what? I'd actually tell Suzanne that I was buying that game. What game are you buying for your new Oculus Rift? I'd fuck Olivia Wilde for seven hours straight. In a virtual world. In a virtual <laughs> world, the only thing... Hey, it's not cheating yeah. if it's on the PC. Exactly. If it's, it's a game, PC, it's not cheating. The only thing that you've got to worry about is the deterioration of the quantity of Kleenex. That is it. But yeah, see... If, oh, One day we'll be there. there. We'll, we we will be there. We'll be in full body suits, mate. <sighs> you went there. Oh, I got goosebumps. Away. So we're going to go see the Long Ranger, right? Is what I took away from that. Oh, the Long Ranger? No, we're not going to go and see the Long Ranger. <laughs> Do you know how much money that movie cost? It's, it was we went, scheduled to make about a fiver. I know. So I know. You know, bad. The best part is that we went from talking about how bad the Long Ranger is in the same Wild conversation. Is Legacy? What? There's Olivia Wilde in Tron Legacy. Yeah, she's the main woman in it with the sharp bob hair. Oh, that computer program. Yes. Nice. I'm not, I can't type now. I'm I, sure I, You know what I appreciate? Because I thought that woman was hot before I knew it was Olivia Wilde. Success. 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 Yeah. Do you know what I she's good in? Which the film was actually average, but it was a DC superhero film. Um, Jonah Hex. Did not watch it. It's got Josh Brolin in it. He's one of... In fact, do you know what? Do you like Josh? I love Josh Brolin and I would love... I would love because I saw there was two basically rumoured candidates for who's going to play the new Batman. Oh, is Josh up there? As Josh? like an older, more mature bat. Because yeah. he's, he's, uh, he's not young. No, he? he's not. He's Well, he's not as old as he... He was old he in was. Wall Street. He look, he's, made, he's meant to look old. Like in a lot of his new films, they give him like a grufty beard and stuff. Josh Brolin is so good... 
But do you know who's supposed to be the running candidate for him? I mean, it's probably just hearsay, but this was a major rumour that was part <laughs> I'm of... I'm just spitballing. Yeah, I'm just spitballing here. Is, and I don't take anything away from him because I think he's a mint actor and I've seen a lot of his films recently. It's Ryan Gosling. Do you not know who that is? Ryan Gosling is in Drive. Have not seen it. Slim, slicked, blonde hair. He is not Batman. I can totally see... <laughs> you Josh, are not yeah, Batman. You are not Batman. <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. Gosling! Josh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here, Josh Gosling? Josh Bale is coming back for Batman. A little secret for you that I got from the inside of Hollywood. No, he isn't. No, we're not going to see Bale again. Bale's doing a really good film, though. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. Did you see that um, Paramount pulled all their money out of the Ass. Batman Man of Steel combo because Chris Nolan's making a different movie? Right. And they just give it all to him instead. Like, they pulled all the funding out of it. <laughs> Did you not see this? Did you guys not Why? What's he actually making? A sci-fi movie. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. I hope it's good. <laughs> it will be. I think Bale's in it. I think it's... Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, we're putting all the money in Man of Steel and the Batman crossover movie. Oh, we look forward to that. We look then, forward to that. Yeah, Interstellar, that's it. And then no one's like, I'm making this movie. And the Paramount's like... <laughs> Paramount's like... They no, sat there all nervously. It's like, and um, I'm going to have Christian Bale in it. It's like, take my money! <laughs> take it, yeah. take it from me. I need it in oh. my life. Look, that's it, though. The thing is, though, there's that uncertainty in the Man of Steel Batman film of what Steel they're going shit. to do. Man of Steel is bullshit. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's got snippets of awesomeness. Yeah, it could have been good, but it's not. And they're not all with Superman. But... There's that uncertainty of, like, A, is it going to be panned like Man of Steel? Even though it, it earned a lot of money in its opening weekend, but then it quickly dropped because of, you know, how shit it is. <laughs> it has Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. That's my, I like the money trick. <laughs> it's my answer. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the uncertainty of who's going to play Batman. I don't give a fuck. I do. Are uh, you kidding me? It's, it's, how long was it between Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger? That's the kind of time frame I'm putting on there being another something that grabs us like the Dark Knight trilogy I don't know man because I I'm putting my because Batman as well the thing is you've seen bad Batmans right oh, yeah. George Clooney oh god when Clooney was Batman what was that about I freeze I'm Batman you know the best thing about the the, the nipples Batman on the back suit no Val Kilmer's lip because he's already got the big lip but then the suit's rubber so it pushed his lip and he was like <laughs> 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 I was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have put they should have put him in for the screen test he's like oh well we need to try the bat suit on you then gone uh, do you know that speech at the end where he goes I've got a riddle for you yeah then he says it to uh, the riddle he goes please you're as blind as a bat <laughs> you know what would be good he goes I've got a riddle for you and he looks up at him and he's behind his bat suit I'm about to make sure I'm in the camera he's <laughs> like darkness is as clear as day what am I Enigma <laughs> Mr. Enigma <laughs> that's so. that all I can remember from that whole movie is the he has the dream about fucking bats and then he goes he's got a match e -nig Edward Nigma and Edward Nig I've got it guys guys yeah but it's Alfred who solves everything and Alfred's like good job Bruce <laughs> no it's when Alfred actually does it you know what awesome. <laughs> they should have spun that off you know like they do with you know the bad man things now oh, yeah. like when Alfred solves it and he goes Edward Nigma, Mr. E I've got this, Alfred! Enigma! Hey, what are you doing? We can make this video. Shut up! All good ideas go on the board. You didn't even see any of that. You didn't hear any of that. You didn't fucking hear that. It's definitely gonna do that. It's definitely not gonna do that. Oh. Is there anything else you wanna bring up before we go? Um, yes, I'm streaming tonight and I've got a shit ton of Origin and Steam codes to give away from this week's Humble Bundle. Oh, cool. Nice. So you might get some Dead Space later, which yes. is awesome. Are you going to play Dead Space 1? I'm right? going to play Dead Space Text 1. Text me after you finish it. If you finish it. If what you if finish I finish it? How long's the gameplay? How long are we talking campaign-wise for Dead Space uh, 1? Eight hours? You're not going to get it done tonight. It's not, not on your first playthrough. Not on your first playthrough, which is going to be doing... Um, oh, yeah, I'm really short. Sure. I'm up. I've got, I've got to be out into the hospital in the morning, so we're having a short one tonight. We're having a short one tonight. So we'll take some any questions and stuff. I haven't spoken to you guys in fucking ages. Talk to me. Talk to me about some stuff. I want to hear about your questions and anything that I missed. Uh, I've, uh, I'm doing. I'm looking forward to doing probably a daily update. I'm doing three videos this week. I'm doing Legacy of the Paladin, which is nearly finished. Um, a Years Behind the Gears of War, and also a new top five video, which I talked to you about before. 
which is going to be an interesting one. I'm doing a new top five based on that. You've been playing Borderlands? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Wait, can I just add to that? Whoa. Not only have I been playing Borderlands, I've been loving it. Holy gee. Maybe it's time to get back into it. Yes. Do you think we were in a bad place because of Dead Island? Um, no, because we started Borderlands before it. We did get very bored mm. at the start, but do you know what makes that game better? More people. Yeah. I, I said it on the stream every time I play it. I, I basically play it on an open access thing so my friends on Steam can jump in whenever. If someone comes in on ridiculously high characters, I will remove them, but they don't. But... Does it troll the game? I thought the game automatically adjusted. For, so, like, they would see a level 50 and you would see a level whatever. No. Does it not do that? No. It basically, I think it runs off. It will make an average. You don't get levels on the creatures now. I don't think. Okay. I don't think. But, like, here's an example of it. Like, um, Juro, for a laugh, he, well, he joined on the game on his high level character, gave me some weapons and money and blah, blah, blah. There you go, mate. So, I put them in my banks. I can't use them. <laughs> Typical ghost. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Banked. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else you got for me? But anyway. There's a, a slot machine in this bar where you've got the chance of getting legendary weapons. Mm. So we're using it. If you get three... Um, like three tomatoes or something? Yeah, if you get three um, bandit logos, it drops a grenade out. So you've got to move away from it. Now, that grenade stacks with your level. <laughs> so I'm stood next to Juro, like laughing away, watching him piss away his money like I did for an hour and a half the other night. And a grenade dropped out, so I was like, uh-oh. Killed me instantly. <laughs> you got it fucking killed me instantly because the grenade from the goddamn vending machine stacked with Juro's level. So yeah. Yeah, you got owned. You so got I was, as well as like. Thank um, you, Atariana. Oh, how did I say that? Jason joined in. Nice. Jason joined in. Oh was, wow, Jason. Yeah, this Good afternoon man. just shows his um his character. Oh, there that, he is. He's basically got a capped character of what I'm playing. This is what I've got, and he's got a reactive shield that when it depletes, it fires out a lot of spikes. And we was on a boss fight. And um, we just basically engaged the boss. It jumped out of the ground. Jason's shield just dropped from like something random. <laughs> the spikes came out of this box. Went, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. His health just went. Zip. And That's it was really uh, the Twitch PG, PG group. We're not inviting anybody. You can see this now. Preach gaming above the. So it's us on Preach gaming, and there's a, uh, I think we've got four people in there right now. Uh, I'm not doing anything with it until I'm back at full time work. I'm not full time working yet, but we sh I should be back by Thursday. Uh, so I'm hoping to get the dailies back. I think we might kick off with a drama Friday this week. Um, I think we should, if she's back by Wednesday, obviously Thursday will be sort of tending to her because she'll still be tired. Friday we should be able to do a drama Friday. So I will say provisionally, dailies start again on Friday with drama Friday, uh, which I'm I'm fucking dying to do. I've missed doing my dailies, man. Uh, especially with so much WoW stuff, I had to read like five pages of fucking notes on WoW. Uh, which was all cool. Uh, so, yeah, Drama Friday. Workshops, we'll be back. Uh, if we start again on Friday, we'll be back onto the routine. Wait. So, Monday, Tuesday, dailies. Wednesday, workshop. Thursday. Monday. Garrosh drops heirlooms. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> if he does, no. Wait. Not for me. Yeah. 554 enhancement vids. I'm not doing any more stuff on the PTR, I don't think. I did the Rep Pally stuff uh, because... People were kept, uh, well, Blizzard, in fact, kept telling me that Rep Pallies are great! They're great! They haven't changed a lot. I mean, it, <laughs> it was like, oh, we're really happy with where we've got Rep Pallies now. I mean, these changes, that's what's crunched it. Still needs CLC Rep. Uh, you don't need it, but it's, it's, it's advisable. So, for yeah. any level of play. Yeah, it's advisable to get it. But, uh, yeah, they made Inquisition a minute long, so I don't get why you have it now. It's just annoying. You know what I mean? It's a minute. It lasts a minute. You know when something lasts so long that it's just annoying? Yeah. It doesn't fit in. It's just a buff that you like do. Like blessings sort of thing. Yeah. It's just like, it's one minute long. It's like, it's fucking useless. Yeah. Uh, and the cooldowns just line up, so. Yeah, that was all that really changed. I didn't think it was that amazing. I didn't. Uh, but there's no other classes that people really sort of like, you have to try this again. You have to try this again. Uh, so I'll be waiting until 5.4 launches, which hopefully isn't so much in the future. Uh, so we can get everything out there now. But Enhancement is something I'm looking to look forward to playing again, actually. Uh, yeah, I've got to check out the new Rune of Power. Mm, I don't think so. Are we inviting people to Steam on Preach Gaming? Stream? Uh, not yet. I want to see, figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, what I don't want to do is just flood it with everybody and it's just a waste of time. It's, it's pointless. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do. We'll see what we're going to do with that. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a video on every class when 5.4 comes out. When everything's finalised, things are still changing on a daily basis. You can see that when 5.4 is out. That's when I'm going to do all the updated videos for the guides. And I'm going to play them all again. I'm going to play all the classes. I'm looking forward to it. After not playing games for eight days, playing a Rep Paladin on the PTR was a lot of fun. <laughs> Which uh, says everything, I think. 
That really says it all. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun doing that. I had a lot of fun of doing that. Twenty uh, seventh of August. Cool. It's not far away. What is twenty seventh of August? For what? Five five four. Yeah, five five four. No, oh, so it always will be. Are you worried? Oh, so nice to see you guys. No, I've not watched The World's End yet. I'm not. I'm not even. In, I don't know. What? The World's End. You know Simon Pegg. It's got. I do. I watch it. I do, but I'm not overly. I don't want to go to. I've not asked about going to the cinema to watch it. I don't know. I'm not. I'm still emo a little bit, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe. No, I don't. Maybe I don't want to go to the cinema and watch a comedy film while I'm in hospital. Maybe watch, that's it. <laughs> I feel bad about that. You watched The Wolverine though, as well, didn't you? I did watch The Wolverine. It's all right. Yes, it's all it right. is. It's, it's all right. Awesome. Let me. Just quickly pile through a couple no i'm not coming back to warcraft yes i still love league of legends and you watch breaking bad don't you i don't the star trek thing in breaking bad so good and yeah i watched um because did you know that um that they, it, although it's t uh, like the new season it's actually the sec technically by contract it's the second half of season five although it's been a year apart since first half right Netflix had season five. So contractually, UK Netflix got the brand new Breaking Bads by default because they, it wasn't a new season. So their contract still stood. So fuck everybody. It came on Netflix like the day after it was on in America, which is awesome. It's so fucking good. Uh, it's so fucking good. But yeah, Breaking Bad is like, wow. That new season, the ending of the last episode. No, no spoilers, obviously, but... That was amazing. Have you that ever seen Sons amazing. of Anarchy? Yes, I religiously watch it, and I cannot wait for the new season next month. I think it's next month anyway. Love uh, it. Yeah, I generally don't watch any other Warcraft channels, to be honest. Uh, I really don't. I always, I'm always looking. Although Warcraft is my main game, uh, I always, I'm more looking now towards more produced videos for inspiration and ideas. Isn't it Grand Theft Auto just console? Uh, it will be for now. What they, the way Grand Theft Auto works, for people who are still raging about it not being on PC on launch, it's always better on PC because of all the mods and stuff. So what they want you to do is buy it on console because it's amazing. Let's face facts, it's going to be good. Or maybe not, because we've talked about Grand Theft Auto before. 4. I just, I can't stand that game. I think it's fucking oh, shit. I can't stand it. I can't stand Grand Theft Auto 4, but I am looking forward to 5. I don't know why. Why is that? It's because it's it looks good and it's not just going bowling with that fat piece of shit. Oh, I did cousin. that as well. Yeah, it was a nine. Uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto Four. I installed after like an hour or two. <laughs> it was fucking shit compared to Sleeping Dogs, especially. Uh, but um, they're gonna release. They hope you buy it twice. Buy it on console and then we'll release it on PC nope. later down the line. Uh, thingy bank. Yeah, Saints Row Four. I think that I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna check my funds. I think I'm gonna go home and reserve Saints Row Four. I really, really want to play that game. Cool, I, man. It's so over the top, but I really, really want to play that game. I'm going to reserve judgment until I finish three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try three. I'm doing good, Seth. I'm doing all right, man. Well, when you do, 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 do three, let me know because I can jump in your co-op whenever you want. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there'll be a legacy of every class. The legacy, but they're huge videos. Uh, I think the Paladin one at the minute is running like 25 minutes. I need to get that down to 12. Uh, so I need to cut the Legacy of the Paladin video back in like half um, so far. But I'm editing like a 25 minute video. Then I'm going to chop the crap out of it and make it more brevity. Brevity is the key of the day when you're making YouTube videos. Brevity. Mm -hmm. uh, Payday 2. I haven't. Have you seen how big Payday 2 is at the minute? Yeah, I don't get why. Worldwide. I don't know. But I've not. I, it's not going to be based on one. One was for just to jump in and play a quick scenario. Apparently, two is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I've not watched anything or played anything about it. I might look at it. If it goes on sale at yeah, some I mean, point, if it's, I'll pick it up. But I'm, I'm, think, I'm not going to buy it at 25 quid. I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, right. one was all right. Well, that's it. I'm basing it that on was one. Great. One was good, but I'm not going to fork out 25 quid if it's just the same as one. I mean, the company that makes payday is an indie company, right? I mean, it's, although it looks AAA, it's not. It's an indie company. I think indie it's game. an indie company, but they got funding for the second one because of how popular the first was. Yeah, one's... Yeah. I mean, One's we good. played one four play a, a few times. It was, it was all right. It was good, yeah. It was all right. It was all right. Uh, so yeah, I'm not that much. I'm not that excited about it. I'm don't cut it. We want play. longer videos. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. I don't mind half an hour longer videos. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that. Yeah, Legacy of the Monk definitely really long. Definitely doing it. Um, no, I'm not going to do it in two parts. I want them to. Brevity is a good thing. I know it's like, oh, we want to hear everything you might have to say. I mean. A lot of people make this mistake sometimes when I make big videos, and it's fine because it's the internet. I don't, I don't particularly care. But like, oh, you didn't mention this. Well, it's not because I didn't know. It's because I probably cut that out because everybody knows that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If I'm talking about something that's 
obvious, like Paladins wear plate armor. Well, everybody knows that. I don't need to include that in the video. It's not that I missed it uh, in general. I didn't play Fez. Oh, this is a great movie. Uh, you guys have probably seen Indie Game the movie on Netflix. On Netflix. You should watch it. It's really good. It's, uh, it follows the guys who made Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac. Uh, Ed McMillan is a genius in that fucking movie, by the way. Uh, Phil Fish. There's a lot of recent drama about Phil Fish who made the indie game Fez. And I forget the guy's name who made Braid. Uh, I don't think you've played Braid. No. Um, Braid was like one of the indie games that really sort of set the standard that they can make a lot of money with. A, if your indie game is good, doesn't you know, indie game doesn't mean have to mean shit. Do you know what we need to watch? I've just thought about it now because I watched a clip of it um, on the internet and it's in two parts and it's an animated film of The Dark Knight Returns. The Dark Knight Returns? Yes. Well, is it a sequel? Is it supposed to be a sequel to The Dark Knight uh, Rises? No. no, 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 no. I watched clips of it on... Um, uh, not Netflix. No, I watched clips of it on be... YouTube. But there's one key part in it because Batman fights Superman and it's not canon. Canon, by the way... Means that it's not set in the main universe. I'm aware. Are you Thank sure? you. <laughs> because someone asked me at work the other day, and it's one of them. Somebody things. didn't know what canon meant. Really? Someone didn't know what canon meant. I'm and a Star Trek fan. I know all about canon. Yeah. If you don't know what canon means, canon means that basically, in a nutshell, if the creator of this product doesn't say so, it is not canon. It is not set in its main universe. We're on Twitch. Everyone knows what canon is. You all know what canon is. Yeah. I assume. Yeah. But it's not. It's not canon. But there's a part where Batman has to fight Superman. And it's set like years in the future where Bruce is old now. But there's a clip in it, like there's just this little speech that Bruce gives to Batman and it is fucking so good. Like and I only saw this little clip in it, and as soon as I saw it I thought, I need this film. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy like the Blu-ray of it, even though it's a comic it's a comic book film. Do you know one of the most underappreciated so comic book uh, speeches ever is? Is Kill Bill Two. I recently watched Kill Bill Two. At the end, David Carradine gives this speech to um, the bride. Yeah. And it's about Superman. And it's about everything else. It's fucking brilliant. This scene that Tarantino wrote, I don't know if you get you should fucking watch it. It's all about um, it's all about how perception of superheroes and stuff like that is fucking so good. Oh, no. I've seen it, yeah. So good. It was one of the clev the cleverest written things I've ever seen about super superheroes, ever. And I, I re-watched it, and I'd never appreciated it in the past. I was like... It's David Carradine, he's badass anyway. And then there's a, the five finger fucking punch and you think this film's shit. And then, <laughs> uh, but that whole thing is fucking epic. Yeah. It's so fucking good. Do you know ooh, how ooh. Carradine died? Look something. at this guy here. Look at this guy. See you, buddy. I oh, missed. I just banned someone else. Can you unban face roll X? Fuck it Why? Oh, oh I missed it, man. Sorry, face roll. He can't apologise now. He can't see you because you've just banned him. Oh, you can still see, I think. No, he can't when you ban him. Oh, really? Yeah. So, on ban. ban. Face roll XX. Oh, I think uh, Fire's done it, but you can double check. There you go. Sorry, buddy. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. Oh, you want to see the Heart of Swarm trailer? We can do that. You son of a bitch. What? I've got to pick the keyboard back up. Oh, sorry, man. All right, we'll play this, and then um, can I just get some air and then come back? Because I'm fucking boiling. Is that all right? I kind of want to chat to you guys for a little bit, if that's yeah, okay. Can do, sure. Unless you would need to be somewhere. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Top one, no, this one? No. Opening Top cinematic? One. Yeah. Uh, it's the trailer. Mm -hmm. This one? Probably. Just play that, I'll be back in a sec. I just need to call Emma. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, okay. Oh my god, I'm having to get my glasses now to see this shit. 